friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Wipeout as recorded by the Safaris on guitar. Now, this is an incredible song, and it's a surf guitar standard, so I'm gonna be dialing in a little extra reverb today, and I'm using my Strat. I'm gonna take you through the entire song. We're gonna start off with the main riff that everybody knows, and you know, right away when you hear someone play that, you go, that's Wipeout. And then we're also gonna look at the chord progression as well and all of this is based around a 12 bar blues progression so if you're familiar with your 12 bar blues that's definitely gonna come in handy before we jump in though I want to hook you up with something right away for spending some time with me here on my channel if you're looking for a better way to learn the neck and just some more resources that are really gonna make things simpler for you you're gonna want to check out my fretboard guide that I have at the first link down below and this is going to show you just five chords and scales that I use to play pretty much anything on guitar and it just helps you map out the entire knack. Now this is a handy thing that you can print out and keep on your music stand or on your desk. It's just one page. There's a lot of information in there but it's very concise and it's something that you can use as a resource as you keep learning more and more about guitar. So check that out at the first link down below or you can just go to John McLennan dot com slash fretboard guide to download your copy there. All right, well, with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Wipeout as recorded by the Safaris on guitar. Now we're gonna go through the main riff and then the rhythm breaks here that go into the drum solo. Now all of this is based around a 12 bar blues chord progression in the key of B. So if you're familiar with your 12 bar blues, that's definitely gonna come in handy. So let's start off with the main riff and the first four bars with a little pickup sound like this. One, two, three. <laughs> to the next four bars there. So what I'm playing here is starting on the fifth string, I'm going nine, then I go to the fourth string and walk up seven, eight, nine. So it's, okay, and that's walking into the note B. That's our B note right there. So when we get here, we go, and we come down almost like a pentatonic scale, right? But, so that's nine, and then seven, nine on the fifth string. Then we walk back up. We do it again. So that's basically the figure there, so. Okay, now a lot of people play it just like that, and I played it that way for years. But what I notice is sometimes he adds in a little extra, couple extra 16th notes there. And that's just down, down, up, down, real quick. Almost like tremolo picking, right? So. Now, the first two times, like the way I have it written on the handout is. Those are just normal eighth notes. And then here, the third and fourth time. I do the little extra pick in there. Okay, then here we go. And this is a walk up. We just shift down one string. We play the same thing. Starting now on the ninth fret of the fourth string. Then go to the third string and play seven, eight, nine. And then again, if you want to add the extra picks in there. Then back to the first riff. Okay, then our final two notes here in bar eight go. And that's seven, nine on the third string. So let me play everything so far slowly. This is bars one through eight. Remember, it's a 12 bar blues. And then we've got, of course, the pickup. So one, two, and three. <laughs> Back. 
Okay, then this last part takes us to the final four bars, which go like this. Okay, so we go up to the seventh fret on the second string and go. Then go to six on the third string, back to seven on the second string. So. Then, that's the ninth fret of the third string, down pentatonic scale. Okay, that's seven, nine. Then we do the original riff. This time we go. So walking up. That's nine, 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 seven, then nine on the fifth string, and then go. It's pentatonic scale. Nine, seven, nine, seven. And then nine, 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 nine. That's how it ends. So. And then I hit the downbeat on, on just the note B there at the ninth fret. So the last four bars go. And all together with the pickup. One, two, and three. Now the only other part you need to know is the rhythm breaks. And here we're gonna use the chords B, E, and F sharp. And we're gonna put them into our 12 bar blues progression. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, rest, two, then go to E, one, two, three, four, rest, two, back up to B. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, F sharp. B, two, three, four, one, then we're back into the main riff. Congrats on making it through this classic surf guitar song. Be sure to take your time with all these riffs and the fast picking. It takes time to develop it, but I would recommend just working on like one riff at a time or four bars at a time and then slowly putting it together. And to help you make more sense of all of this, be sure to check out my fretboard guide. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide and you can download your free copy there. It's a PDF that's one page. It's really concise, but it's gonna show you the five must-know chords and scale patterns to rule the neck. So check that out at the first link down below or just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Thanks for your support with the lessons and we'll see you in another video real soon. Thank you.